You ever open After Effects thinking you just make the best edit of your life, only to render it and realize it's flat, boring, and has zero impact? It's probably because it's missing the movement that makes the clip feel alive, like the camera's reacting to the moment, not just sitting there doing nothing. Right now, your footage is as smooth as a PowerPoint. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore. Today, I'm gonna be showing you the shake settings I use to make my edits have more impact. We're using only two plugins, Twitch and Sapphire's S-Shake. So, let's get into it. Alright guys, so as you can see, I have all of my clips ready. And I added my Twixter that you guys can find in my channel. So what you guys want to do is go over to the effects and presets and type in Twitch. And you want to add that. So after you add that, you see this. What you guys want to do is click on the little stopwatch for the amount. And you guys want to add 185 to the amount. Then... You guys can go a few frames forward and go zero. Then what you guys want to do is change the speed to 30. After you do that, open the tab that says enable and you want to enable blur, light, and slide. It should look something like this see it looks like this right now because we need to have our graphs which is what we're gonna do right now so select your keyframes F9 then go to the graph editor and you wanna copy my settings or my graph I, I guess so and it sh you should have something like that Then what you guys want to do, because we're not done yet, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to operator controls, go over to slide, and where it says slide direction, we're going to click on the stopwatch, add negative 45 degrees, then we're going to go a few frames forward, and we're going to add negative 100. So it should look something like so if you see right here the keyframes it should look something like this and and you put no keyframes on this one. i mean you you don't change the graph for this one so it should, it should look something like this next thing you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and go again to the effects and presets and type in s shake and you're going to add that need to have the sapphires plugin by the way then after you add it what you guys want to do is you want to go ahead to the amplitude and change it to 0.3 and keep the frequency as 8 and click on motion blur make sure reflect is also on and after you do that there you have my shake and what you guys can do I already added it is you guys can go to your clip and add a scale in effect with like with this type of graph as you can see so if you get like this effect that it's like gonna have an impact on the next clip and also what you guys can do is as you can see i done it for all the clips so what i did in this clip is after i did the shake i copied it and what i did is i duplicated the same effect but for this effect i inverted the settings so over here I start it starts with zero and negative 100 and then it like um, builds up the shake and also the graph is also opposite so it like builds up the shake so it will have like this type of effect like a build up effect as you can see and with the uh, another shake on the next clip it will look much better it will have a good um, transition as you can see 
so there you have it guys this is how you can do my shake settings you guys can also add color correction uh, flickering anything that you would like I usually do those to my edits and it looks much better with the shakes so thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video